The world of saws is made up of many marvelous tools. Big saws and jig saws, hand saws and band saws, back saws and hack saws. They all have their specific purpose. Hacksaws are chiefly for cutting metal or other tough materials. So what keeps hacksaws on the cutting edge? Hacksaws come in many shapes and sizes. Companies make hacksaw blades out of a wide range of steel alloys. Here, a thin band of steel feeds into a machine that cuts it into blanks 10 to 12 inches long and a half inch high. Workers load 300 blanks at a time into a jig. They lightly hammer them to compress them into a block for easier cutting. They then feed the block into a machine called a mill grinder. It cuts teeth into the upper side of the blanks. A water-based lubricant washes away the metal particles. This hacksaw model has a 24-point blade, which means there are 24 teeth to every inch. Workers use an ordinary paintbrush to remove any metal residue. The quality control department inspects each blade for flaws, then it's off to the next phase. Next, a separator detaches each of the 300 blades, aligns them, then sends them through a setting machine. The machine bends the teeth to either side at a slight angle. This is called offsetting. It'll enable the blade to clear away particles as it saws, preventing it from jamming. Now it's time to harden the teeth. The factory does this by heat treating the metal. A worm gear aligns the blades to enter a heating coil. In this process, the electromagnetic heating coil heats the teeth to temperatures as high as 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the type of metal. This takes no more than two seconds. After the blades exit the heating coil, the surrounding air cools them down over the next several hours. This phase is called air quenching. The blades are now ready for printing. An offset printing press applies ink to raise lettering on a cylinder. That cylinder transfers the ink to strips mounted on another cylinder. These strips then print the company name, the blade length, and the number of teeth per inch on the side of the blades. Now a machine inserts the blades in groups of five into slots called fingers. The fingers rotate the blades and place them on a conveyor belt. The machine raises the blades and tapes them together at one end. This makes it easier to transport them to another part of the factory where production continues. Next, the hacksaw's frame, the component that holds the blade. Workers place the frame components in a jig that's positioned on a rotating carousel. A robotic welder fuses the components. A press punches three holes in the handle for attaching a foam or plastic grip. Workers fit the two halves of the grip in a sonic welder that fuses them using high-frequency sound waves. The sound waves create friction at the seam. This generates enough heat to melt the parts together. Now the frame is ready for the blade. An automatic device tightens a wing nut to put tension on the blade. A final quality control check. With each randomly selected blade, the testing machine cuts through a block of stainless steel. The machine performs this test six times per blade. Then the computer calculates the average number of strokes. If the average falls within the norms for this particular model, the batch gets the thumbs up.